Okay, YouTubers, it's Ronnie Henson here from Southwest Oklahoma. Today I'm going to talk about how to clean your carburetor. A lot of you people out there, to include myself, have tried everything from Kim Dip to Gunk to Pine Saw to Lemon Juice to you name it. Uh, and it does an okay job, but nothing really cleans them to satisfy me. So I've been wondering about this muriatic acid uh, and how it's going to affect the carburetor and how well it cleans it. Well, today I'm going to I'm going to show you what I've done. I'm not going to show you the entire process. I'm going to explain it to you, then I'm going to show you the end results, and then you can kind of decide for yourself whether or not you want to do it or not. This carburetor that I have here is a 1997, 22-year-old uh, uh, Holley carburetor. It's a 3310-4 uh, vacuum secondary 750, very nice carburetor. It had set in the... Uh, person's garage for about 15 years with gas in it and it went from a liquid to a lacquer from a lacquer to a solid and the carburetor was basically junk so I didn't have anything to lose so I decided to use this as a test project so anyhow having said that I'm going to show you what I used and what I did and then I'll show you a close-up of the carburetor and let you decide so the first thing that I did was is I went to YouTube and I couldn't really find anything on it. So I had to experiment myself with some scrap pieces because I didn't know how the muriatic acid uh, needed to be cut or if it was going to dissolve the aluminum carburetor or whatever the case was. So the first thing that I did was is I got, I got a five gallon bucket from Atwoods. I measured up to about six and a half uh, inches. I cut it off. I made me a little copper deal with a slit in the bucket so that I could stick that in there like so and then I could hang a hook on it and I could submerge my carburetor in the solution. So that's a very inexpensive piece of equipment right there. And also you want to make sure that you have rubber gloves because you're definitely going to need them when you're using muriatic acid. So that's that. This is the muriatic acid that I got. Uh, we had a pool and, and we use it for pool supplies, changing the pH level in the water in the pool. Uh, muriatic acid, you can buy a gallon of it for less than $5. I think this was $2.99 a gallon and it goes a very long way. You, need, you will need a little two and a half gallon bucket or a bucket for just clean water to dip it in after you've taken it out of the muriatic acid uh, dip. And to do the measurements for your liquid, I got this little paint cup at uh, Lowe's that it has ounces on it. So I did one and a half gallons of water to 16, gal uh, 16 ounces of uh, muriatic acid because I didn't know. So I put it in there and it seemed, it seemed to be working just fine. So I bumped it up to 20 ounces uh, and, and that seemed to work a little better. Now, when you add the muriatic acid you want to add the acid to the water, not the other way around. Don't put the muriatic acid in a bucket and then pour water on top of it. That's a no-no. Put your one and a half gallons of water in there, put you 16 ounces of muriatic acid, and slowly pour it in to the water, searing it with a wooden paint steer or some kind of a wooden stick or whatever to steer it up. So once you've got that all mixed up, and you've got it, in your little container here, you just make a hook, uh, you put your uh, deal on your carburetor so that the carburetor uh, hangs in there straight. And I just put a, a little copper wire around that, put a nut on it, and then hung it over the hook. And that seemed, that seemed to work really good. And as soon as I put it in there into the solution, I noticed it started bubbling. <clears throat> so I'm thinking, okay, here we go, you know. And, and obviously the carburetor is disassembled. It doesn't like muriatic acid, doesn't like uh, rubber parts. Plastic is okay. There's plastic piece on the choke deal. I left it on there just to see. Didn't affect it whatsoever. But the carburetor was totally disassembled and I, and I put one piece in at a time. I put the main body in, I put the throttle plate in, I put the bowls in, and then uh, all the little miscellaneous screws and brackets and parts and stuff and put those all in there. Now. You want to take your phone and you want to set, go to Google and say, Google set the timer for 10 minutes. And Google will set the timer for 10 minutes. And at the end of the 10 minutes, take it out and look at it. 
and dip it in the water. You can dip it as many times as you want to. It doesn't hurt anything. Dip it in the water, take it out, look at it, see if it's still dirty and funky. If it is, have a little paintbrush. You may scrub it just a little bit and then put it back in there uh, for another five minutes. Now you're asking yourself, how long can I leave it in there before it dissolves the carburetor? Well, I'll tell you this, it won't dissolve the carburetor like I thought it would. I took a piece of test aluminum, stuck it in the muriatic acid, the same solution that I was going to dip the carburetor in, and I left it overnight, took it out the next day, and you couldn't tell it had any effect on it other than the fact that it cleaned it. <clears throat> so don't, don't get excited about leaving it too long, uh, but you definitely want to put it in the uh, solution that's mixed with water, and then you want to take it out in 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes until you get the desired effect that you're looking for. Uh, now once you have done all that and you get the carburetor out, you're not going to have that pretty yellow holly carburetor uh, chromate or whatever they call that yellow stuff on, on a factory carburetor. Obviously it's going to be back to the zinc because they played them with zinc before they put the yellow on them and that's okay because this is, this is what you get and I'm going to put this up here where you can see it. This right here is a carburetor that I've done. Hopefully I left that up there long enough for you to get a good look at it. Uh, carburetor is absolutely gorgeous. So I put a kit in it and I rebuild it. And I have an engine, a 355 on an engine stand over here. So I hooked it up just to see if, if, if it was going to run. This carburetor runs as good as any Holley carburetor that I've ever rebuilt. Now, I've been doing this for a long time. I, I modify and build engines and, and, I do, and I do a lot of stuff in the shop. I'm retired military, so I've got plenty of time. And the only reason I'm making this video is, is because people need to know you don't need to go out and spend a ton of money uh, to get your carburetor clean when you can do it for pennies on the dollar and you can do it better than anything uh, out there uh, for real expensive. So for you guys on a budget and you're trying to do this like I am, this works absolutely great now if you will notice how how nice that gray looks on there well let me tell you when you take it out of the mur muriatic acid it's going to be really clean and it's going to be nice but it's going to be a duller silver than this is right here to get this last process to get this zinc to shine a little bit and to look as good as this carburetor does, there's, there's one last step that you gotta do. Yep, you gotta go to the dollar store and you gotta invest $2 in a box of baking soda. And we're gonna do a little soda blasting. And yep, you can't get away from Harbor Freight. You gotta go to Harbor Freight and you gotta pick you up one of these right here. This thing was very inexpensive, didn't hardly cost anything, and this is what I put the soda in to blast the carburetor with. Soda is a very non-abrasive uh, process, and basically all it does is, is it polishes the zinc on the carburetor, and it gives it that satin look that you have right here that Holly has. Holly has a lot of carburetors that they sell that don't have the yellow on it, and, this, and it doesn't affect the performance of the carburetor one way, shape, or form. So anyhow, uh, hope this video helps. Uh, I would like to see you guys subscribe and hit the like button if you would. Uh, that kind of motivates me to make other videos and I may come back and do videos of whatever you guys want to see, maybe uh, tearing a carburetor down, putting a kid in a carburetor. And I've got a uh, 355 that I call the Black Widow. Uh, it's a blackout, it's the Black Signature Series uh, that has been bored 60 over and that's another video in itself about people, whether you can or you can't. But anyhow, uh, please subscribe and hit the like button, and uh, I'll try to make some more videos for you guys. And give me some feedback, and let me know what you'd like to uh, see, because Southwest Oklahoma, it's a cold, dreary, rainy day, uh, and, and, and I like uh, teaching if I can. Uh, but anyhow, I appreciate it, and thank you so much.